It's a deployment like no other. Every year, two RAF signalers are required to take their expertise to the end of the earth to carry out essential maintenance work. And this year, that task fell to Sergeant Jason Wallace. I caught up with him, now safely back at his signals unit at RAF Leeming. It's something I always wanted to do. At the time, I was working on our control desk and the person who arranges the trip phoned up to speak to the flight sergeant asking for volunteers and I just immediately volunteered and he said you haven't heard the dates yet and I was like I don't care I'm, I want to go. Sergeant Wallace's mission together with colleague Corporal John Cole was to fully service the VSAT and antennae systems on Rothera research station. Rothera is the largest British Antarctic facility and the centre for biological research. The scientists here rely heavily on the signalling equipment to communicate with personnel, aircraft and research ships. Without it, they would be cut off from the world. The communications equipment is all supported from guide masts. Uh, so our job is basically to climb the masts and inspect them, make sure everything is as it should be. Uh, obviously the winters are fairly harsh. Some of these masts are a little way away from the base, so we had a, a sledge and two of us pulling this sledge full of equipment through waist high snow. It was hard at times, yeah. That, that was the hardest part. Some accessed the site by boat, ploughing through sea ice. But for Corporal Cole and Sergeant Wallace, it was a plane flight from Chile, bringing them down onto the crushed rock runway of Adelaide Island. The most surprising thing when I started looking around is just how clear everything was and how spectacular it was, to be honest. Like I'd seen plenty of photos before I went doing a bit of Googling, um, but the photos just kind of do it just as how pretty it is, I suppose. It's a bit surreal, really, especially the views from the top. Spectacular. One side you've got like mountain ranges, and then to the other side is sea ice um, with islands that are hundreds of miles away that you can see crystal clearly. And then there's whales swimming past and penguins running around. The best part was just being able to finish work, grab a skidoo and head up onto the slope and snowboard. It actually boggles your brain how, how beautiful it is. I feel very privileged to be honest. Ensuring the scientists in Antarctica are able to continue to communicate with the world is certainly one deployment he's unlikely to forget. Hannah King, Forces News at RAF Leeming.